Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Excuse the pup snoring. Today I thought I'd do a get ready with me because I haven't done one in ages, first of all. This is like an everyday makeup routine kind of thing. I know I've done some makeup videos, but I just wanted to share with you guys what I do every day because a lot of you guys have been asking, especially since I mentioned that I don't actually use foundation anymore. Because I'm quite rubbish at makeup videos and I find my ones boring to watch back because I'm not very good at talking through and I'm not an expert, I'm just kind of showing you guys what I do day to day. I thought I would also answer some of your questions in this video. So so I posted a little Insta story just a couple of hours ago and I've got a few questions so yeah I thought I would answer them at the same time. Of course the first thing I always do is uh, moisturise my lips. I'm using the Blistex Med Plus, this is the best lip balm ever and it's so cheap. Yeah, and then I always start with my eyebrows first. I've been loving the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I've been obsessed with this since I went to the Maldives with Sam and Benefit. It was the first time I tried it and I'm literally like obsessed with it. I think I'm gonna find this pretty hard to talk and do at the same time, but I'm gonna try. So let me open up one of y'all's questions. The first question is from my girl, Thea Holloway. Hey girl, I hope you're well. So there's three questions. The first one is, what are your goals for the rest of 2018? Some of you guys will probably know. Obviously I've spoken about it a li little bit on my channel. For like the last year, year and a half, I've been struggling quite a lot with like, not happiness, but fulfillment and kind of happiness in the sense that it's been a really, really hard last year and a half. The last six months, maybe a little bit more have actually been amazing, but there has still been like struggles, particularly with me in myself, in my mental health, dealing with like past situations and trying to let go of things and um, just trying to like understand why certain things have happened. But I'm definitely on the path to happiness, like massively. I've done some amazing things this year already that I'm so happy to have done and I'm so proud of and there's a lot of upcoming stuff that I'm so excited about. But yeah, I literally just want to be happy. I want to get back to being completely and fully myself, have less of the anxious feeling that I've been feeling a lot lately. Yeah, I really want to get inspired as well. I feel like I'm not very inspired at all at the moment, feeling really uninspired. I want to like do stuff that I love and enjoy. I have been traveling, which has made the world of difference. And I've had the best travel partner ever. If you guys have followed my vlogs and you'll know. So that's been amazing. I really need to read more and um, I need to get off Instagram and off of social media. I feel like I'm going off on a tangent but yeah I just want to do things that are actually like fulfilling and like will help me grow as a person because I feel like I lost myself a lot over many of my previous years and I'm just trying to find who I am again and I'm getting there I definitely am and I'm so happy I've moved into a place on my own and I feel so proud that I've been able to do that. So yeah, I just want to like read more, get some more inspiration, definitely go to like more museums, exhibitions and I really just want to tap into my crea creativity again and like get back on track with YouTube and I'm so grateful for you that you guys have been so understanding and amazing about everything. So the next question was why did you start YouTube and wait, let me just show you guys my next brow product before I answer that question. The other thing I use in my brows is the Glossier Boy Brow. It just makes my brows look so much more natural and real than just filling them in. I'm obsessed with it, it gives it like this nice warm colour. Okay, so why did you start YouTube? When I was younger, I was a little bit of a singer and I used to watch a lot of covers on YouTube and like follow a lot of singers on YouTube. And then I came across a girl, I can't remember her name for the life of me and it's so annoying. But I came across a girl that did singing stuff but also did like the fashion and beauty side of things on YouTube. And through her, I fell into this whole fashion and beauty world. And I was literally like, whoa, this is the coolest thing ever. And I was so into fashion or personal style, whatever. I just loved clothes and, you know, being able to express yourself through that. And when I saw it, I was just like, oh my God, I want to do this and like be in a part of this community. And then I found girls like Sam and Patricia, all of the old school YouTubers. And I was like, yep. This is something that I want to do. And at the time, it wasn't a job. Nobody was getting paid for it. It was just a hobby. But I just, because I was I was working at Claire's Accessories and I was also at uni full time, I just wanted like a creative release and something that wasn't so serious, like something that I could enjoy. That's why I started YouTube. The next product I'm going to use is a concealer and it is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer. At first I hated this stuff, but I think I was using too much of it and my skin was also dry. Now I love this. And this is the only kind of cream product kind of cover up stuff that I use on my face now. I literally just take a tiny little bit under my eyes and dab 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 it in. So Thea's last question was who are your style inspirations? 
and honestly I don't have like one specific style I find I like mix into a lot of different styles or mix a lot of different styles together and even though I'm inspired by people's styles I don't I'll take like a tiny bit from it I won't try and like imitate like one style so I couldn't really tell you and I'm also like inspired by places and music and stuff like that it's never just a person um for example when I went to Nice like the colors of Nice and the fact that it was like beachy and stuff that really inspired my style yeah I don't really take like specific inspiration from people it's people places music things art colors the next thing I use just to set that concealer is the Anastasia contour kit I've got the light to medium I don't know if that's the right one for me but I just take this middle shade and tap it on top da, da, da. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the next question is from Nagor Gomez. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, and she's asking, next destination? What's my next destination gonna be? My next destination is in literally like a week. Going on a brand trip. I'm so excited. Going to Ibiza. And I've literally never been to Ibiza, so it should be fun. I'm going with the cool, some cool people. I'm very excited. <laughs> so I am Jess asks, why don't you do looks books anymore? I really enjoy them. I'm gonna answer this question plain and simple. Basically, where I couldn't find a place for ages and I was struggling with people and situations and within myself, I didn't really have the time or the energy to have somebody help me film a lookbook and it was the winter as well and it was just nasty. I wasn't emotionally like there to make videos and then when I was getting myself out of the situation all of my stuff was in storage so I didn't really have a lot of clothes to play with and again it was just difficult to move around with a lot of stuff. I'd have to carry like a huge suitcase and I was in between my mum and my boyfriends. Let me just tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner, it's the brown one and I literally just draw over this little freckle I have just to re-accentuate it because it goes away under the concealer and I think it looks cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was just really difficult to film lookbooks and it's also really hard to find somebody who isn't busy. Like me and Helena used to do it all the time but we're both a lot busier now so it's really hard. It's just hard to find someone to do it and it, it's not that it's hard to find someone to do it but I'm quite particular and I know what I like and I don't like to boss, like be bossy um, and I don't want other people to feel upset if I'm not happy with how they filmed it but I am just just stay tuned that's what I'm saying that's all I'm saying I do really enjoy filming them as well so hopefully I can get back to that soon sorry ah so x Angeli asks where's your hoodie from in my insta story and it's just well I'll, sh I'll put I'll show you guys my insta story but it's from Urban Outfitters I think Tommy Hilfiger had one like this and then they just did like a little dupe but I love it although the sleeves are pretty short if you've got long arms like me if you're like massive <laughs> to contour i use the bronze goddess estee lauder powder bronzer in the shade 04 deep and this sigma small contour brush um and whilst i do that i'm going to answer the question that trinity ray asks and she asks what's your favorite skincare product oh i've got a few i'm gonna do a skincare routine but i think at the moment my favorite skincare product is the buffet by the ordinary that product changed my life girl I love it and also just drinking water is an amazing skincare product I know people say it all the time but it they you know we say it for a reason if you drink a lot of water your skin will change but yeah I've really been into the buffet uh, by the ordinary it's like a concoction of different um, like superfood kind of things for your skin not superfoods because it's all like uh, science so it's like ingredients but I think it's got like hyaluronic acid and other stuff in it and it honestly is just you can feel it work straight away so yeah I'll link that down below but the next thing I do is bronze with another bronze goddess but I've got the lighter one in 03 medium deep and I'm gonna answer the question Lou creates X I think um, advice on finding a place to live in London honestly I'm not the right person to give you that advice I, I live just outside of London now but I can get into London super quick to be honest I don't think it would be that difficult if I didn't have a dog like it is hard to find a place in London because it's very expensive but when I was looking I did find some really good deals but they just said no because I had a dog so I, I can't really give you advice but I might move to London the next time I move is all I'm saying so maybe once I have done that then maybe I could give you some more advice I'm so sorry <laughs> the next question is from Riley Darlin and that is when's the next music Monday the first one had me like damn thank you so much um, I'm just curating another playlist I think I'm there but I'm just I don't know 
I just I, I want to find a cr more creative way to film it than just a sit down video but if you guys are happy with just a sit down music Mondays let me know I also thought about doing it in the car but I need to find a, a thingy that will hold my camera without it falling everywhere but it's coming soon I've got pretty much all the songs so it's coming very soon oh and by the way what I just put on was just the Estee Lauder double wear highlighting cushion stick illuminator in peachy glow peach glow on my cheekbones I've just realised I haven't contoured my nose. I just use a little Buff and Blend brush by Sigma and the Bronze Goddess in Deep. But I don't really do it that much. I just kind of do a little boop, 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 boop. It's quite messy. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, I had a little bit of filler in my nose back in December. I feel like it's wearing off, so I'm probably going to go back. Okay, so back to my highlight. I'm just going to go over that cushion highlight with the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess highlight. I don't know what this is called. Um, this fell out of the pan the other day, but I love it. Sana Nuri asks, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong. What is my favorite high street shop at the moment? Love you, Tasha. Thank you, love you too. To be honest, I haven't really done a lot of shopping, but in the last, like, quite a few months, it's definitely been Urban Outfitters. Um, although I'm not so sure right now at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's definitely been Urban Outfitters. I really love Urban Outfitters. And I really like weekday, but I just haven't actually bought anything just because your girl gotta pay rent now and I'm just I don't know I've just I want to buy like homeware and stuff oh yeah so I just put a little bit of highlight here as well ooh, ooh, ooh. and a little bit here to make my lips look a little bit more pouty so close to being done now um I bet you guys are really surprised how not like how little makeup I actually use this is predominantly my favorite mascara it's the benefit bad girl bang mascara is a life changer close up in second is the Estee Lauder pure color MV lash multi effects I actually really like this and this is what I'm using at the moment because this one has dried out and I just haven't got another one yet because I never leave my house <laughs> the next question is from Sade Lawrence is your hair easier to manage now since you've done the Brazilian treatment so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or if you missed that story I actually did a Brazilian blow dry or a keratin treatment on my hair but I did it at home um, just the other day like literally two days ago something like that and oh my god I will put the clip in of my hair I will show you what my hair looks like now air dried it's so much easier to manage especially because where my roots especially around the most important part of my head are the thickest and the most frizzy like I couldn't pull my hair back like this before it would be like a big lump and it was so annoying and it would get so tangled so easily after day one my hair would just be stiff and really hard to manage and it was just annoying honestly um, so yeah my hair is a lot easier to manage but I'm not going to talk too much about it because I have filmed the process and I will talk a bit more about why I did it etc so I will have like a dedicated video but yes girl my hair is so much easier to manage I love it. I'm so happy and I'm so annoyed that I didn't do it before. Okay, so the next question is from Bon BCN CF. And the question is, what are your summer staples this year? I love your fashion sense. Thank you so much. Literally just my big white trainers. I got a pair of buffaloes. I'm literally obsessed with them. I can't get enough of them. But those are literally my summer staple. And I feel like that's a summer staple for a lot of people. Not specifically buffaloes, but big chunky white trainers. What else have I been loving this summer? Bum bags. And just cute little cami tops, to be honest. And boob tubes. <laughs> but yeah, those, are, those have been my summer staples this year. Honestly, like, obsessed. Let me know if you guys would like to see a summer staples video. Maybe that could be like a cool video I could do so my battery cut off when I was doing my mascara but as you guys can probably tell I've got some mascara I just did one coat today sometimes I like them a little bit more spidery and full sometimes I like it a bit more natural today I just thought I'd go for the more natural look so this is what I'm looking like but yeah that's literally all I do the last thing I do is just add some setting spray I always use setting spray especially because I find the concealer can crease a lot if I don't I'm using the NYX Dewy Finish long lasting setting spray today I usually use the Urban Decay all nighter but I have run out so I need to go and get me some more of that because that is the ultra, like my ultimate favourite setting spray. It's insane. So I'm just going to use this. I do like a more dewy finish. So this is perfect. And I feel like it just makes my makeup set really, really nicely. Oh. And it also just feels bloody lovely. I think my face is dry now. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. It was really nice to kind of interact with you guys a little bit more. So let me know if this is a kind of get ready with me that you guys would like to see a bit more. Thank you for your patience as always. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah.